Hi, this is Dr. Strong. I'd like to begin with a question that may be on your mind, which is who should teach African American literature? Um, it's an interesting question. The situation that we're in at Northeastern State University is that the Department of Languages and Literature is, like the rest of the faculty at NSU, not the most diverse. And NSU is not really the most diverse institution in the U.S. in general. So um, our options are to have an African-American literature class taught by a person like me, who's not African-American, but who has studied this um, body of literature and considers it important, or to not offer the class at all. Um, and that seems like a real shame. Um, studies by the National Education Association have found that when students read multi-ethnic literature and um, study ethnic studies and ethnic issues in class, it makes them um, better uh, at um, empathizing with others, better at cooperating and problem solving. And there's also um, empirical research to show that diversity um, makes people smarter. So in particular, a recent study conducted by Sheen Levine of the University of Texas at Dallas and David Stark of Columbia found that when students were put into um, diverse groups for projects and problem solving, so mixing things up in terms of people's backgrounds, not only in terms of race and ethnicity, but also age and um, gender, the, the groups that were the most diverse had the most creative problem solving. So that's interesting and, it, and it's something to think about. At the same time, I'm definitely aware of my white privilege um, as a faculty member. And so thinking in particular about the work of Mary Waters, who's a sociologist at Harvard University, um, she's made the argument that ethnicity is almost optional for white people. So um, in her article, um, Optional Ethnicities, colon, for whites only, question mark, um, Waters talks about the way in which that, um, uh, you know, we may think that, that people in a, a racial group or an ethnic group share a common ancestry, but really um, individuals tend to construct their own identities. And she argues that white Americans, um, people with European ancestry, have the greatest deal of choice in terms of their ethnic ethnicity. Um, identity. So they can claim certain parts of their background, like Polish or Italian, in a way that people of color can't really do. Um, so if your skin is, is not white, then um, you're more likely to have others tell you what your ethnic background is or your racial background is. And we've certainly seen that with people of color um, who are in the public uh, realm and in, in the media um, having that happen. So um, I'd like you to think about those things as, as we begin the semester and as we move forward, the, the way in which research shows that, um, that studying multi-ethnic literature um, is good for us and good for our brains, but also makes us better human beings. But also the way in which this course might be different or um, might be better if it were taught by someone um, who was African American. So think about that moving forward, and, and I'd like to talk about that in this week's discussion.